Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all the things that I've been loving, obsessing over, and I could not get enough of in the month of March. Now, typically when I do my favorites videos, because the months are going by so quickly, I always say something like, I can't believe we're here. I can't believe the month is almost over. I can't believe we're in April. I'm not gonna say that this time. Oh, hell. <laughs> what the hell? Y'all, I cannot believe it is April. Like, where is the year going? It's about to be fall. Whew. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video. Thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel. What are you waiting for? It is now April. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. Okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. So... I gotta start with the most random of the random of the random. Let me get this out the way. Y'all already know how we do, okay? I'm gonna share with y'all body care, some makeup, some fragrances, you know, a little bit of everything. But I need to share with you something that's so super random, but I am obsessed, okay? So this is by Glad. <laughs> yes, Glad. And this is the Force Flex Plus Garbage Bags in the Cherry Blossom scent okay so about two months ago i was in target like i always am in target perusing minding my business and i saw this and i was like cherry blossom scent i love cherry blossoms pink bag i love the color pink let me see what they talking about picked it up smelled it and i was like i need this <laughs> And I need like five of them because I think they're limited edition. I'm not sure. I think they're limited for the spring. Y'all, if you have <laughs> tall garbage kitchen bags, I think everybody that watches my channel has garbage bags. But let me tell y'all, I usually use the Febreze ones. I always use Force Flex and Febreze. But the Cherry Blossom is where it is at. Okay, trust me when I tell you. If you love florals, you will love this. First of all, it makes your kitchen and your garbage area smell so nice because it's super fragrant. The bag is pink, okay? Although we have a tall um, stainless steel garbage can, obviously, you don't see the pink, but it's just so happy and uplifting to just open the garbage and see this bright pink bag smelling like cherry blossoms so once you put your food and you know all your garbage in there you're not going to really smell the cherry blossom as much but you will not smell your garbage okay and that is what we love so when you take your garbage out at the end of the day or in the evening or whenever you will not smell the chicken the fish the bananas or whatever you have in your garbage you're not going to smell it you're going to smell cherry blossoms okay so this is a glad force flex plus cherry blossom febreze scent it is everything okay i will link it because you can get it at target walmart you know whatever so now that that random thing is out the way Another one of my favorites have been my earrings, period. <laughs> like, it is what it is. There's no shameless plug. I'm not ashamed. I love my earrings, okay? And I'm thanking you guys who are purchasing my earrings because you guys are loving them too. Now, I love all of my earrings, obviously. They're all fire. They're all dope. They're all, like, statement-making, getting attention. But my favorite ones right now at the moment are the butterflies, Y'all, look how gorgeous this butterfly is. I, first of all, I just love butterflies. I love what they symbolize, but I just love how the earring just like, it just hangs right. It just frames the face. Like the butterfly is just like, it's just so beautiful to me, y'all. I love it. And the colors, like they go with everything. I always get complimented on my earrings. People always love them. They are so gorgeous, so sparkly. This one isn't too heavy. It's not like the lightest earring. Like you can feel it in your ear, but it's not heavy by no means. So I just love these butterflies. So I just want to show y'all some of the colors that I have. I have the AB Crystal, which is like that iridescent kind of color. So pretty. I have this beautiful emerald green color. Gorgeous emerald green. Look at that sparkle. Love it. Next up, we have this blue. Beautiful, bright cobalt blue, which has me written all over it. One of my favorite colors. 
just look at that shine it's so gorgeous we have gold we have silver i mean they're just so gorgeous and i also have clip-on styles for my clip-on girls we have the clip-on in silver in ab this gorgeous yellow i wear this as well because i love me some yellow and we also have the multicolored butterfly as well. These butterflies are just everything, y'all. And this is a clip-on as well. So super pretty, so super cute. Perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer. I'm obsessed, okay? So my earrings are one of my favorites, the butterflies. <laughs> All right, so where are we gonna go now? I think I'm gonna save fragrances for the last. And it's not that many fragrances, actually. It's actually just three fragrances but let me share with y'all my favorite body washes that I've been using as of late so the first one is by tree hut and it's the pineapple foaming gel wash so tree hut recently came out with these body washes they have watermelon uh there's coca colada I think there's strawberry there's a vitamin c one y'all they're all really really nice oh and there's one with like a gold um uh shiny shimmery effect i bought that one i haven't used it yet but i'm excited to try that but y'all this one right here because i've been on a pineapple kick it's not even really pineapple season for me because i love to pull out my pineapples coming you know summer but for some reason i've been real thirsty and i've been wanting to smell pineapples so this right here, if you have or have ever smelled the Tree Hut Pineapple Body Scrub, this smells just like the body scrub. And if you oh, wow. I mean, just wow. It's giving dull. It's giving dull pineapple juice. What? Yo you need this all right just order this now i'm gonna link it if you don't want to shop my link you can get it from um ulta you need this this right here is everything when i tell y'all about a body care product on my channel and i say it is fragrant please believe me when i say it is fragrant it is slapping you in the face okay a lot of people say things are fragrant and then i smell them and i'm like fragrant weird do i have the vid like what the where's the scent i don't smell it i mean i barely smell it but if you say fragrant i want when i pop the top i do this and i smell it like that is fragrant to me you don't have to get it wet like this is just so super juicy sweet dull pineapple pineapples if you love the scent of pineapples you will absolutely absolutely 1000 percent 100 million gazillion percent be obsessed with this as i am because i have backups the backups have backups because i don't know if this is limited and i'm gonna need this always like this pineapple right here is everything and it's moisturizing let me tell y'all the oils it has it has avocado oil kiwi oil and orange oils it's hydrating it's moisturizing it foams up so beautifully the lather is just like lathering <laughs> the lather is lathering and the scent is scenting if you love the scent of a sweet juicy pineapple that smells like dole pineapple juice you need this okay i've been loving obsessing over this oh my goodness y'all this is everything everything so the pineapple foaming gel body wash by tree hut now the next body wash that has had me in a chokehold Ooh, i didn't want to say that like i relapsed y'all i'm sorry <laughs> i've been doing so good i don't know how that that's how you could tell that i really love all these things because it just took me back to saying chokehold and i wasn't saying chokehold for a minute but listen just act like y'all ain't hear me so, by Bath & Body Works, the Uplifting Boost Neroli and Bergamot Body Wash. Y'all, if you love the scent of Neroli and Orange Blossom and Pettigrain, I keep telling y'all, if you love that scent profile, you need multiples of this because I don't know if this is going to be there forever. Knowing Bath & Body Works is probably not, okay? So, go out and stock up rack up on this because this scent right here 
Whew, another one that I just can't get enough of, y'all. I mean, as you can see from the dent, I just got this. Y'all know I just got this, and I've been using this almost every single day because it smells so freaking amazing. Like, it doesn't smell like... It's trying too hard. It doesn't smell like, damn, why did they add the sugar pumpernickel pop to the Neroli? Like, it, it just smells so classy, so sophisticated. It has that bright, citrusy bergamot. It's just perfection, okay? I absolutely love this. So, Uplifting Boost Neroli and Bergamot Body Wash by Bath & Body Works. Rack up, okay? <laughs> now, the last body wash that has had me all in my feelings <laughs> is by Molten Brown and this is the Delicious Rhubarb and Rose. When I tell y'all my showers be lit, <laughs> like they be lit lit, okay? Like, first of all, if you're new here, I always start with the Dove Bar Soap. Like that's what I use to get my squeaky clean, like boring, all right, let me get this out the way clean, you know what I mean? Like get the dirt off me, get the oil, the thousands of moisturizer, all the perfume, like get it all off of me with my exfoliating glove and my Dove Bar Soap. And then once I rinse off, I have fun, okay? That's when I'm whipping out the scented body washes because I want the scent to be all up in my nose and just filling up the bathroom. I'm listening to music or listening to YouTube and getting my life smelling these delicious smells in the shower. So this is Rose and Rhubarb. It's a sweet jammy rose, tart rhubarb. I mean, like, I mean, like it just smells so good. Another one that's super fragrant, you need this, okay? So Delicious Rhubarb and Rose by Molten Brown. All right, so I have a couple of body creams to share with you and one hand cream. So the first body cream is by Hemp's and it's the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Scent. I done told y'all I've been on a pineapple kick, okay? It's not even summertime yet, but the pineapples are just taking over my life right now. So this body cream right here is a must, a must for pineapple lovers. If you love a sweet pineapple, all right? And this one has honey melon, so it doesn't smell exactly like the pineapple um, body wash by Tree Hut or anything like that, but it does smell like a sweet pineapple I love. I love, okay? Like this is everything, y'all. If you have pineapple fragrances, layer with this and get your life. I've been loving, loving this. You need this, okay? Hydrating, moisturizing, goes on very nice, super like loud pineapple scent. It is everything. Another body cream that has had me in a chokehold. Oof. Especially at nighttime, y'all. Oof. Pistache, all right? <laughs> Pistachio is like the note of the season right now. Like everywhere on my feed, it's like a pistachio fragrance popping up. Whether it's new, it's probably been out since last year, but everybody's just now talking about it because everybody's in pistachio mode. So here I am in pistachio mode as well. So pistache skincare, pistachio body butter, y'all. When I tell you it smells like pistachio ice cream, please believe it, believe it, please. I have no reason to lie to y'all. This smells just like pistachio ice cream. Who? I mean, what? All you need is a little pistachio nuts, like just sticking in there, and you're gonna think this is ice cream. You might eat it. Like, this is crazy. Wow. Insane moisturizing hydrating to the skin the only thing when i use this i don't use it with oil because it will peel it has that consistency it's so whipped that it has that like let me see if i can show y'all it has that consistency that's it's not super oily you see how my skin doesn't look sheeny or oily or anything like that it's definitely moisturized i feel it and i'm not dry or ashy but it doesn't leave me with that glowy sheen so it doesn't have enough oils in it for me so i don't mix it with oil because it will peel you know what i mean so that's just a little tidbit but the scent whew, if you love pistachio you need this all right mix it with your yum gel gelato 33 mix it with any of your pistachio fragrances you need this i feel like it's probably going to be sold out pretty soon because everybody is just like on a pistachio kick right now so if you know what I know, you get this like right away, okay? So the last, I guess, body care. Is it body care? This is a hand cream, y'all. It's by Lemur by Creme de Lemur, y'all. 
This body, not body, this hand cream is so moisturizing, okay? I can use this and then sanitize my hands at least two to three times and not have ashy hands. That's how I judge whether or not a hand cream is moisturizing. If I use a hand cream, moisturize it, go about my business, and then hand sanitize, like I can't get to a bathroom. If my hands still look moisturized, I know that that moisturizing hand cream is the truth, okay? This one right here, after the third hand sanitizing, hand washing, whatever session, my hands still look moisturized. So this is the truth. Now, this is an empty. This right here is completely done. This is my um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. When I tell you I cannot live without this, like this right here is everything, okay? Now listen, I know a lot of you guys feel like Glow Recipe products are gimmicky or whatever. I will say this, my skincare needs, like I don't really have much skincare needs because I don't have skincare issues. So for me, I like products that make me glow, that are hydrating and that are moisturizing. I don't have any dark spots. I don't have any acne that needs to be cleared up or any like scars or anything like that. I don't get pimples or breakouts or anything like that. Thank God, I'm very fortunate in that, <laughs> you know, like I, I have really nice skin. So when I'm buying a product, it's all for the glow, all for the hydration, all for the moisture of it all. This right here just makes my skin look so effortlessly glowy and dewy. I mean, if you're just doing skincare and running out the door, you need this. This is your last stop because your skin is going to look so hydrated and supple and plump. And when the sun hits you, whew, I mean, it's the glow for me. Like y'all already know this right here underneath your makeup, it will make you glow. Nighttime skin care, it doesn't matter. Use this all the time, every day, under your makeup, going to bed, in the morning, it doesn't matter. If you want to glow, if you want nice, hydrated, glowy, dewy skin, you need this. Like I said, it depends on your skincare needs. I don't really have skincare needs. I just like products that make me glow and that are hydrating and moisturizing because my skin is more dry to normal, I guess. And it's not really not that dry, but if I had to say that I had an issue with my skin, I would say I'm more dry because I'm definitely not an oily girl. So I guess I'm more dry to normal child. I don't know, but that's what it is. That product right there is everything. Now, let's talk about my lip combination that y'all have been loving. I've been linking it, but y'all don't be looking in the description box. So I'm gonna just tell y'all here in this video and it will be linked again. So I start with the Sephora pencil number 17 molasses, super creamy. It's like a gel cream type um, consistency. I just start with the liner. And then my lipstick color is by Stila and this is Patina. This right here is the best, the, the best brown girl pinky nude ever, okay? You know how there's some nude lipsticks that you have to try to make it work because you have to have a liner. And I mean, you can make it work, but if you don't line it, it's just not gonna work. I don't have to line my lips with Patina because regardless, it's just my perfect color. Like it's like the perfect brown girl pinky nude. And a little bit goes a very, very long way. Like what I do, I like when I pull it out, I have to scrape it off, like scrape off the access or wipe off the access because it's very, very pigmented. Super pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. I've been wearing this for years. This is the perfect brown girl nude, okay? If you are a brown girl, you need Stila Patina, okay? Stila Patina, it is everything. Now, I wear it like this on its own, like just for like a nice matte retro glam type of look. But if I wanna make it a little bit more modern, then I'm gonna use my Fenty Gloss Balm in Mauve Wives, okay? Mauve Wives, not Mob Wives. <laughs> Y'all, another one that's the perfect brown girl friendly pinky nude. It has like a little, like a dusty rose kind of color. But honestly guys, on the lips, it's just perfect. It's actually almost, the Stila Patina is a little bit more pinky, but I mean, y'all, these are the colors that I have. I mean, I could show you 
my nude colors like all my pinky nudes they're all like around this kind of shade range right here so mauve wives by fenty love this this is everything still a patina and number 17 molasses pencil by sephora the sephora collection everything so that's my lip combo i've been loving this i've been wearing this so much and y'all been like sis i love your lipstick i love your lip color this is what it is now before we get to the fragrances i have just three more beauty products so blush y'all i've been loving this bright pink you guys can't see it because i don't really here's the thing with me and blush i like to see my blush but i don't want it to be popping like that okay like i don't want to look like homie the clown we ain't playing around so you have to be really careful like for me i like to be really careful with my blushes but i love a good pink like a bright hot pink blush but i do not go ham with the blushes because like i said i ain't trying to look like a clown okay but this right here by Too faced is the watermelon color this is gorgeous let me show you the color it's so super pretty y'all brown girl pretty pink blush look at this I mean, this color is so gorgeous. It's so pretty. This is what I'm wearing today. And then this color by Sephora. This is a Sephora brand, and this is Hey Jealousy. This is a little bit more pink, like a more brighter pink color than the watermelon. So if I'm going out, I'll wear this one. How freaking pretty. Like, how pretty is this blush, y'all? So gorgeous. So these have been like the blushes I've been wearing and rotating in my videos that you guys have been loving. And like I said, I just like a little flush of color. I don't want it to be too crazy because yeah, blush can, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the last beauty product is by Becca, Smashbox and Becca, whatever it is right now. So this is the color Champagne Pop. Y'all, if y'all been watching YouTube videos for years like me, <laughs> You are a Jaclyn Hill fan because I love Jaclyn Hill. I've been watching her since she was in the kitchen, doing her makeup in front of her fridge when she was working at MAC, okay? Like, I've been loving Jaclyn Hill. So when she came out with this collab with, with um Becca and they came out with this champagne pop color, I never got champagne pop because I felt like it was too, it was gonna be too ashy for me, but I definitely love all the Becca highlighters. I had chocolate geode, I had topaz, I think I had opal. Actually, I had opal and then I returned it. And then they used to come out with limited edition colors, like that coppery color. I had all of them, y'all. Every last one except for Champagne Pop. So something told me the other day, get Champagne Pop just so you can put on the, just like on the higher points of your cheekbones. And that's exactly what I did and I'm obsessed, okay? Let me show y'all. So all of my highlighters are gold. So I felt like I needed something that was gonna be a little different in my collection because I wanted something that was just gonna act like light. You know what I mean? Like just like a light reflecting kind of color. I didn't want it to have color, if that makes any sense. So just a little bit like on the very, very high points of my cheeks. And that's what it is. Like it just looks like light. It doesn't look like a highlighter or anything like I can't explain it y'all like I literally cannot explain it but I just know that I did that like I put it on like the bones of like you know above my brow bone or whatever and it just gives that extra like once the light hits it it just looks like light reflecting and I'm just obsessed like obsessed okay so don't look at this color and feel like oh I would never wear that because that's not a brown girl color I'm telling you it's not one of the highlighters you're gonna put all over your face right you're gonna put your gold highlighter all over or you know wherever you put your highlighter and then this just goes on the high points of your cheeks possibly on your nose like wherever the light kind of catches and then it just looks like the light is just hitting your beautiful glowy dewy skin like y'all already know how i am like i love to glow so this right here everything okay everything so the last highlighting product i'm going to share with y'all is by kevin aquan and this is the glass skin illuminator this is the color solar quartz this right here y'all when I tell you, it's kind of like Champagne Pop. It's kind of doing the same thing as Champagne Pop. But this is for when I'm not wearing as much makeup. Because I'm not going to put this over powder. Because this is like a jelly kind of liquid type of consistency. So it will kind of ruin your powder. Like if you're not careful, it can ruin your powder. 
So let me just put a little bit just to show y'all how much it gleams and glows. But for me, this is something that I'm gonna use over just foundation, like liquid foundation, or even like a tinted moisturizer, and just put this on top and not even set it. You know what I mean? Like this is gonna be one of those days that I just want my skin to look super glowy, super healthy, super shine, not shiny, but just super glowy, healthy, and um, glass-like. So that's the effect that this gives. When I tell you, this is everything, all right? All these products that I'm sharing with you, this is the sun's best friend, okay? You wanna be out in the sun, you wanna be in light, because once the light catches your face, you are just going to glow, okay? If you love to glow, trust me, I feel like I've perfected the art of glowing. <laughs> all right, so now let's get to these fragrances. And like I said, there's only three. So the first one, Kaali Vanilla 28. Y'all, I mean, I've always loved this fragrance, but now that I'm layering more, I love it even more because this right here can layer with every and anything, okay? This is a layering queen, the layering god. You need Kaali Vanilla 28. If you have fragrances in your collection that lean a little bit more masculine, like they're unisex, they're not pretty girl, frou-frou, la-la type of scents, and you wanna sweeten them up a little bit, but you still wanna have some depth you know what I mean? You still want to have layers to your fragrance. You still want to have some girth, some oomph. You don't just want to have a girly, pretty, you know, florally, whatever fragrance on that day. You want to have something with a little presence, but you want it to smell sweet still. Put this on top. When I tell you, you will not regret it. You need this, okay? Vanilla 28 by Kayali has been giving me my whole entire life. Now... Another vanilla fragrance that I've been loving is by MFK, Gentle Fluidity Gold. Y'all, I mean, the proof is in the dent, period. Like this right here is such a beautiful, easy reach. I don't want to do too much. I smell incredible, okay? I smell immaculate, feminine, sexy, not doing too much, not super projecting like i'm not smacking anybody with my fragrance but when they come around me i'm living in my bubble and they are smelling me you know what i mean it's not a skin scent it's so feminine it's just so perfect for this time of the year this is perfect this is actually an all year round type of scent for me because i never not want to smell like this like this is everything okay definitely going to get a bottle in about a month or so because i just want to finish this off like it's project use it up we all love baccarat rouge by 40 and that gets all of the praise but i'm telling you do not sleep on gentle fluidity gold this is a masterpiece period so the last fragrance that i could not get enough of in the month of march is by kajal and it's lamar Whew! when i tell you the pineapple has taken over pineapple has entered the chat yeah she did the pineapple has entered the chat. So let me tell y'all, I layered this the other day with this right here. I didn't want to tell y'all because I don't really have it yet to show y'all. But this right here is my fragrance. I'm trying to find the words to say to tell you how bomb, how, how immaculate, how exquisite, this combination is this combination got me listen we're gonna talk about it in a vlog we don't got enough time right here but just know lamar by kajal layered with my fragrance i can't tell you the name just yet but y'all know it's like a boozy banana bananas foster type of scent the two of these together who told me to layer this who t why did i do that why Y'all, I got a story to tell y'all, but we ain't got enough time. Just know that this right here, deadly. But Lamar by Kajal is a beautiful pineapple fragrance. It's a beautiful woody pineapple fragrance that is everything. Let me see if I can tell y'all some of the notes. Do I have the notes here? Yes, I have the notes for y'all. So in Lamar, we have pineapples, red berries, apple, cardamom, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, jasmine magnolia vanilla amber cedar cashmere musk and moss y'all this is beautiful okay this is a pineapple scent that doesn't smell like 
Marc Jacobs pineapple. You know what I mean? And no tea, no shade because I have a Marc Jacobs pineapple fragrance. It's pineapple and orange blossom and I love it and I use it to layer, okay? But this one right here is a sexy pineapple. It's a woody pineapple. It's a pineapple with depth. Y'all, listen. This, when I say this is a juicy ripe pineapple, this is everything, okay? And I've been getting my whole entire life in March and I feel like I'm gonna be getting it in April and getting it in May with this fragrance because I cannot stop using the pineapple. I don't know what it is right now, but I'm just pineapple crazy. So Lamar by Kajal, chef's kiss. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorites for the month of March? What have you been loving? Whether it's beauty, random, body care. Let's just talk about it like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.